Hey everyone, Josh here with a look at another Star Wars toy. And today we're going to do an unboxing video. Today we're going to unbox a Force Link 2.0 Maz Kanata figure. So let's go cut this girl loose. Come on, let's go. All right, everybody, here we are today with a Force Link 2.0 Maz Kanata figure. And we are going to unbox this figure today. But before we get that far, I just want to quickly spin the packaging around, let you guys take a look at it. And unfortunately, there isn't a whole lot to these, this packaging. Um, Hasbro's decided to use the back of the packaging to push the Force Link product. So we don't get any figure description or anything like that. So that's a bit unfortunate. And so let's unbox this girl. This is Maz Kanata and... Of course, she appeared first in The Force Awakens, and she made a very brief appearance in The Last Jedi. If you remember, they were Poe and Finn and Rose were all talking to her through a little hologram screen. But here she is, very nice little figure just like Yoda. Very cool. And for those of you guys out there who game at all, she does make another appearance in the story mode of Battlefront 2. If you, if any of you out there play that, if you play through the story mode, there's a little tiny scene that she has with a bearded Han Solo. So it's very cool. And there you can see she actually has the little jetpack she was wearing in The Last Jedi, and it actually reminds me of the Rocketeer's jetpack, if any of you have seen that movie, an old Disney film, but there is Maz Kanata, now let's see if these glasses are movable at all, because she moves them in the film, but they do pop off of her eye, I can show you that right there, but it doesn't appear that they move at all, so that's unfortunate. I was hoping they would kind of slide up or slide down, but they do not. You can pull them away from her eye a little bit, but I don't think it's meant to do that. So the glasses are going to stay on. Let's see. Take a look at this jetpack here. Um, most jetpacks usually come off the figure, or most backpacks, but it does not appear that this one is removable. So there you go. But real quick here, let's run through Maz Kanata's movements here. So you have head movement up and down and all the way around. So side to side. Um, a rotational movement at her shoulder joint. No waist movement. And then you have hip movement at the, at the leg. So you can seat her in a vehicle. But it would probably be difficult because of the jetpack. Because again, the jetpack is not removable. So that is the basic movements of this figure. Very nice. And real quick here, I'll show you the blaster she comes with. It is this little gray fella here. Very nice. And let's see how she holds this thing. So... One of the problems I've been running into with some of these Force Link 2.0 figures is some of the female characters with smaller hands have been a, I've been having a hard time getting them to grip on some of the accessories, but that does not appear to be the case with her. So very cool. So you can see she holds the blaster just fine. And if you look at the way her hand is set up, it appears that her right hand right here is the one that is meant to hold the blaster because if you look at the other one it's not quite as in a gripping pose it looks like you might could slide the gun in there but I don't think she's gonna hold on to it very well and yeah you can see she'll hold it in her other hand but it's a little bit awkward you can see it's kind of in there at a funny angle but there you go you can put it in both hands very cool and I think I liked it better in this one. Okay. Very nice little figure. And I like that they gave her the blaster that she was using in The Last Jedi. 
It almost looks like there are moving parts on this chet pack she's wearing, but there is not. I am wrong about that. All right, guys. Let's see, will she stand on her own? All right. Very cool. Oh, I'm sorry about that, guys. I forgot to do the most important and fun thing about this video. So this is a Force Link figure, and she is Force Link 2.0. So this is the Force Link 2.0 device, and to scan the 2.0 figures, you have to have the 2.0 device and if you guys are not familiar with what this is this is really a little chip scanner and so each figure has a little chip embedded in it and this part of the device right here you actually run it over the figures and you'll hear lines from the movie and battle sounds like blaster effects and things like that so let's Turn it on. So what you want to do to turn it on is you want to touch this little sensor area here. It is not a button. It's a sensor. So what you do is you touch it. And it should turn on here. There we go. Okay, so you see it turn on. You can see it light up a little bit. There's some little orange lights on it. And then what we're going to do is scan Maz Kanata and see what she says. I am no Jedi, but I know the Force. I assume you need something desperately. Well, that's nice. It actually is Let's get to it. working the way you kind of scan it in a direction. I assume you need something desperately. Okay. Whoops. Dropping our little pistol there. Well, one of the other things it tells you you should be able to do is this thing here is actually a strap for putting it on your wrist and unfortunately it, it does not fit on my wrist so one of the things that also tells you in the instruction book that you can do is if you move the force link in a certain direction it's supposed to activate some of the same so I am no Jedi but I know the force let's get to it so I assume you need something desperately we must face them fight them all right, cool. I assume you need something desperately. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. I assume you need something desperately. We must face them, fight them. All right. I assume you need something. Desperately. All right, guys. So there you go. You can see that she, uh, here are some of her scenes there, and very nice. All right, guys. Look up. Look happy, Maz Kanata. Very good. All right, guys. There she is from the Force Link 2.0 line. This is Maz Kanata from the Force Awakens and the Last Jedi. And thanks for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the content I'm creating on this channel. And if you are, please support the channel and subscribe. Leave some likes on some of the videos. And I appreciate it, guys. Thanks. Bye.